hello guys and welcome to 3d home and in today's video i'll be showing you us how to model fence eh? especially this particular one all right i'll be showing us how to model this particular fence without wasting much of our time all right and the simple ways of doing this okay so let's dive into the video without wasting much of our time so the first thing to do let's take the full measurement of this particular fence so let's say the length is um 8400 okay so let's do the same thing here 8000 400 okay so the thickness the wall thickness let's go with two to five same thing we repeat the same thing this side the 8400 okay so this is our thickness then the next thing let's check the height what's the height okay and once i pick from this point and then end at this point um this is where you see the measurement under this length okay under this length so let's do that again you see the measurement is coming up there under length okay so the length is what is okay 1550 that is 1.55 so let's use our push and pull to okay bring it up and then type in 1550 okay we're using millimeters here okay and then the next step let's do the demarcations okay let's um the next thing let's divide this particular partitions all right um from here from this point you can use your line for the measurements okay just pick your point pick the first point and then drag it to the next point to give your full measurement so from here to here is um 750 and then from here to here is what is 1800 so we'll be doing so click on this line click on your move tool okay click and move tap control to have a duplicate the measurement is 750 right 750 enter and then for this other one is 1800 let's check again to be sure okay is um 1800 okay so we pick the same thing from here to here tap control to have a duplicate 1800 okay so we repeat the same thing here too all right 750 750 all right then 1000 800 same thing here 750 okay then 1800 all right okay so now let's check the depth right from here to here this point is what is 1120 let's check from this side 1120 that's 1 1.120 all right so let's offset this line let's pick this line sorry just use your push and pull tool okay push push it down and then type in 1220 right i just hope we're right let's check again okay 1120 same thing here oh this one is 200 let's go back we need to make it 120 so pick your push and pull tool type in 1120 not 200 okay and then the same thing here this time around instead of typing it just click on the other partition and then drag it and align it with this other side click on this one again okay drag it down align it with this one and click okay then the next thing let's check this particular um wheel okay do some demarcations let's see this um burglary let's see the size from here to here is what 950 okay 950 by what by 17 so let's just model it outside okay pick your line type in 950 950 by what by 1700 okay just align everything like this okay then the next thing let's check the size i'm using line two okay to check click on the first point and dra drag it down then to get the measurement this one is 50 the thickness is 50 what about the opening 100 the opening is 100 so we'll be doing the same thing here pick this one all right remember it's 50 the first one that's the thickness 50 what about the opening the opening is 100 okay so let's type in 50 on this one then we'll just copy it 50 duplicate inside click on move to click on this first point okay this one then we'll be doing the same thing here all right this is how we're going to copy this one 
and then the last one all right so what about this other site was the thickness is 50 also what about here is 50 also okay so let's highlight everything like this use your move tool tap control type in 50 okay same thing highlight this other one too type your key move it inside type in your 50 all right and then let's use eraser to to delete this point we don't need this ones these lines we don't need them believe me it's going to come out very sweet okay so let's remove these ones i hope you're following if you have any question please do well to ask okay i'll attend to you on the comment section all right so let's remove these particular ones too we don't need them okay we don't need these ones like this same thing here we don't need these lines i just want us to model something very clean okay so click inside these ones these are the openings and delete each one you click you just delete them okay click and delete and then the next thing let's check the thickness what's the thickness from here to here is what is 40 okay let's tap in bringing out 40 40 okay you can see we have that already and then for this um hangers okay this particular ones let's do something simple here okay all right make this one let's make it 50 okay oh it's 50 too much so let's just make it um let's make it 40 since the thickness is 40 let's make it 40 all right double click inside move it down okay remember we are copying okay it's just a copy then pull it outside and type in 50 let the outside also be 50 all right 50 let's bring it to this other side okay i'm trying to be fast so that i don't waste much of your time <laughs> all right so let's type in 40 remember the other side is 40 thickness let's make this one to 40 bring out okay before then let's just copy it down i hope you're following okay um 50 all right and then 50 here too okay so before we place them there let's highlight everything and group everything okay group and then let's pick this dark color and then paint it dark ha, we're getting there <laughs> all right so let's copy this let's bring it to this point and then let's apply this particular one first okay there's a space here then there will be need for us to drag this one down a little okay down down a little tap your up arrow key to activate your vertical line up arrow key the key pointing up okay um that's your navigation keys your front up down left and right that's like the north south east and west the up key tap the up key once i tap the up key again you see it's it's no longer on um vertical line okay once you tap the up key once it will give you a vertical line okay and i hope you've learned another thing again all right so now let's copy everything from this point click from this point tap control once to have the duplicate of it like this same thing to this side all right so i think no i know we've done that not think this time around all right so look this is what we did this is the previous one so i think everything is the same you can't even tell the difference like which one is the new one which one is the old one okay so Thank you for your time. If you find this video helpful, please do well to subscribe to this channel, okay? And ask questions. If you have anything to ask, anything you don't understand, please just drop it in the comment section. I will do well to attend to you, okay? Thank you once again for your time.